Formula Student single-seater racing car resembles a real racing car. In fact, it looks like the sort of car you might see on a sprint or a hill climb. But it's a very specific set of regulations that make up the competition here at Formula Student. Let's have a look at how these cars are built. Traditionally, Formula Student cars ran with internal combustion engines. They can be up to 710 cc, but generally you'll see something like a CBR 600, 600 cc engine in the back of one of these racing cars. But of course, the EV revolution is here. So now the teams can choose between internal combustion and electric power. And you can see on the University of Nottingham car here, they've got two 36 kilowatt engines driving the rear wheels and then you can take for example the University of Hertfordshire car which is here this weekend it isn't running but it's here they've got four electric motors they've got four 35 kilowatt motors powering each of the wheels so the innovation depending on whether you go internal combustion or EV is vast and the rules allow people to do a vast amount of different things with those powertrains as well. Formula student cars use full slick racing tyres, crucially though, when the weather's dry. When it's wet, as it might be this weekend, they also have to have wet weather tyres with them. And with wet weather tyres comes wet weather setup on the suspension, and that challenges the crews and indeed their strategy. It's the billion dollar question, how fast does a Formula student car go? Speak to any university up and down this pit lane, they want their car to go as fast as possible. Realistically, expect to see these cars averaging between 30 and 50 miles per hour out on the track in the sprint and endurance events. Formula student car chassis can be developed around a steel tubular frame like this University of Salford car or depending on the facilities at your university, they can be built using a carbon fiber monocoque, much like a Formula One car. They feature independent suspension and a rear mounted engine. Just like any racing car, aerodynamics on a Formula student car are critical to performance. You'll see a wide variety of aero used on the cars. Some of the front leading cars though will be using very developed, highly technical and complex designs, developed in wind tunnels and using computational fluid dynamics, just like a Formula One car. Weight is obviously a critical part of the design of any car, particularly though a racing car. You can see the carbon fiber on the University of Birmingham car behind me. Most of these Formula student cars will weigh around 200 kilograms without a driver or a little bit less, but of course it depends on what you build your car out of. This car is going to weigh a little bit less than perhaps this one here with the University of Salford's car having a steel tubular frame chassis. That's a really simplified version of how to build and what goes into the design and build of a Formula student car. But if you're interested and perhaps you want to get involved, the full regulations and some more information is available on the iMechie Formula student website. And I thoroughly recommend you check it out. But make sure you've got time to sit down and have a good read because there's loads of info on there.